Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Today we're going to be talking about the new rivalry that is Springboks versus Ireland and the idea that the Springboks and Rusty Westbrook in particular, do they genuinely hate Ireland? Uh, there's a bit of a war of words happening between the two camps and uh, Simon Zebra has added to that saying that he reckons Rusty Erasmus genuinely dislikes Ireland and uh, because of all the sort of the coverage of the Irish media and uh, we're, basically what we're getting is everything we want in a build-up to an Ireland series. The war of words has begun, the build-up is, is really starting to, to take shape and uh, we're starting to get a narrative about the sort of what could be the next big rivalry in rugby uh, and maybe even a rivalry that might be able to sort of rival the Springboks versus sort of New Zealand type of rivalry um, in terms of the, the Ireland versus South Africa. But uh, we have to wait and see exactly how this will play out. But what we do know is that this is going to be an incredible two-test series. Now, before we get into exactly what has been said and, uh, you know, where there's sort of a truth uh, or whether there's weight behind what is being suggested, uh, please do smash a like on the video. Please do uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Rusty Rasmus is the king of motivation. Him and his coaching staff, Dr. Yamba as well, um, we saw in Chase of the Sun just exactly how they can get every single last bit of intro performance out of their players. And one of the big things that they have been doing in recent years is sort of been creating narratives. And, you know, creating the narrative about saving South Africa, about building South Africa, creating this narrative, for example, that, you know, the world's out to get them, that they have to prove pe people wrong, that they are disrespected, for example. And we saw that in the build-up to sort of the, the island, island test, for example, with the various different, um, and even during the playoffs, the various different media sort of coverage about what has been said about the Springboks. Now, recently, um, David Delendi was interviewed by Jim Hamilton, and uh, he talked about... Um, the the disrespect that the Springboks felt from the Irish more, more the Irish media um, after that uh, that that 2017 loss, and this is what he had to say. He said, "We lost them in 2017 when they beat us 38 points to three. That was the way that, that the way the media spoke. They completely disrespected us." He said, "For us as a group, and for us the Springboks, it is about getting respect back, not their respect, but our own respect. We need, to, but um, we don't need to, but we really want to beat Ireland." It is going to be an incredible test match. I love that. We don't need to, but we really want to. You know, in terms of like, we've got nothing to prove. You know, we're world champions. You know, we've really done what we set out to do last year. But we really, really want to beat this particular team. Uh, he said that the first game against Ireland at Loftus, whether I play or not, it is going to feel almost like a war. A lot of people give them credit for being number one in the world because they play such good footy. But that's going to be a flippant, incredible battle. Uh, and then... Simon Zebo um, was speaking on uh, Kickoff and on Kickoffs and on's podcast, and uh, he was asked about this Damien Daly in the interview and uh, what his sort of uh, take on it. And uh, he said the following: He said, uh, "To be fair to his Damien Daly uh, point, I think the media did get a bit out of control here with the hopes and expectations." Um, he says, "I suppose it was a little bit extra around South Africa because Rassi had obviously coached us here in Munster, and he's been involved in the Irish setup. Jacques Diambo is now coaching at Leinster, and there's a bit of a rivalry. And uh, this is the very juicy part that uh, Simon Zebo has uh, has come out and said. He said Rassi hates the Irish. He really, really doesn't like us, which is quite funny. It will build up even more, and it drip feeds into the players. Arcus Neyman has been copying a little bit of slack over it." He said, there's a really, really big rivalry there and it's bubbling. It's mainly the Irish media's fault based in Dublin, I think. Not the Irish media down here where I am, referring to Munster. Um, it's going to be a juicy test series, that's for sure. And he has got that bang on in terms of, we couldn't have asked for a better build-up. You know, we've now got the interviews coming. We're now, now getting uh, you know, an idea of what the teams really think about each other. You know, the interview with Evan Etzebeth saying that, uh, you know, the arrogance of certain Ireland players, you know, saying that... Uh, you know, they'll see you in the final and stuff like that, which was then hit back by certain Irish pundits saying there's no way the Ireland players wouldn't have said that. Bernard Jackman, for example, came out in this column saying that Leinster expect to beat the Bulls and, you know, and 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 if they don't beat the Bulls, we can, it should be considered a failure. So there's definitely a massive Ireland South Africa rivalry that is starting to really take shape. And I'm in for it. I keep saying that, you know, I love narratives, I love stories, I love, you know, pantomime villains. You know, we need the theatre that is rugby, to go along with the sport itself. You know, at the end of the day, a rugby game is 80 minutes, but what we can do in between that becomes a lot of fun with regards to building up the different, uh, you know, clashes, the Rusty Erasmus versus an Andy Farrell, for example. You know, we've had, you know, the, the Owen Farrell versus Springboks type of things before. And, and those sort of little small stories, normal, normal narratives, is what we enjoy in sport. It, it really is, you know, as much as 
every sits there saying, oh, you know, it's just a game, a sport is a sport. We love the drama, don't we? We're here for the drama. And there's going to be plenty of drama in this island series. Let me know what you think. You know, is this, and how big of a rivalry could this potentially become? We're talking about the number one side in the world over the last few years in Ireland, the current world champions in the Springboks. Um, you know, I don't think everything's ever going to sort of match a Springbok New Zealand rival, for, for example. Um, but this is definitely sort of uh, becoming a, a pretty big rivalry and, and one which I think is going to be absolutely epic in the years to come with two of the top teams in the world going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Two matches now in, in, in June, July or July, and then but hopefully you know, we'll, we'll play many, many more times in the next few years. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.